The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to show how to measure angles with a protractor. So here's uh, here's my protractor. And I've got a couple of examples here. Here I just have an angle. I'm going to take a look at on the second page uh, uh, using a, a whole triangle measuring the three angles. So what now in a protractor, uh, there's two scales. It depends on whether you're measuring the angle from this side or from this side. So notice <clears throat> there's a 10, 20, 30, so this would be zero here. So if I'm measuring uh, in this direction, I'm going to use this the inside scale here. And I'll show you in the example here. Um, if I was measuring from this side, this would be zero, and then it goes 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees, etc. So if I'm measuring from this side, I would use the outside scale. So I'll, I'll show how to do both with this angle. So what you want to do is you want to position so that uh, some people call it the crosshairs. It's a, like a little bit like a, a rifle or a shotgun. Um, you this is this where this 90 degree line and the line at the bottom meet. You want that to be parallel or to be right on top, like where the zero is uh, on one of the sides of the angle. So if I position it here, I'm measuring the angle in this direction. So this is my zero down here. So I'm using the inside scale. So um, so as we go up here, so it's going past, you know, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So that line is between the 120 and 130. Well, exactly where is it? So I'm going to uh, uh, zoom in a bit here so if I zoom in a bit you see so this is the 120 right here so that would be 120 121 22 23 24 25 so it looks like it's about 126 degrees and let's zoom out just a little bit maybe we'll go that was 400 percent we'll go to 300 so I would say that my angle, I'll move this up, is about 126 degrees. Now, if you want to, to um, have the protractor so that the bottom edge is right on here, then I would just need to rotate this. So and again, I'm rotating it so that this line right here is parallel to this side so that's what I'm doing it's not quite perfectly parallel so I'll move it I'll rotate it just a little bit more that's pretty close there it's hard to get it exactly on but that's pretty close You can see it's off just a little bit. It's hard to be really exact. But if I put the protractor that way, um, actually I could maybe move this a little bit instead. There we go. That's even better. So again, I've got this side right on here. So see this is where my zero is starting so you know I'm using the outside scale here so you see the 0 10 20 30 you know up here so again it's between the 120 130 so 120 21 22 23 24 25 it's you know again pretty close to the 126 so it's about 126 degrees so that's how if I was measuring from this side it would be about 126 degrees there so go back to the same size as the original. So let's go to the uh, second page here now. So I've got these three angles. So A, now I need to rotate my protractor quite a bit here for A. So again, you know, that's not quite parallel to that. That's the side I'm sort of aiming for here right now. That's pretty close to being parallel there. and rotate just a tiny bit it's actually I think easier to do this on yeah I'm getting pretty close there now okay let's zoom in a little bit more maybe maybe the 250 be good enough so again, you can see that I am off just a little bit here, so maybe I'll try to fix that a little bit more. I don't know if I'm going to 
That's pretty close. So I'm measuring from this side, so I'm going to use the inside scale here. So, um, so you see it's between the 110 and 120. So that would be 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, about 116 degrees. So angle A is about 116. Let's fix that. So now angle B. So I need to rotate this quite a bit around this way because I'm doing angle B. So okay, just a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, so that's pretty close. So angle B, so I'm, I'm, I've got my zero on this side here, so I'm using the inside scale here. So it's between the 40 and the 50, so uh, that would be, uh, let's, let's zoom in a little bit more here. So that is 40. 41, 42, 40. It looks like it's between the 42 and 43. So let's call it 42. Okay, so 42 degrees. And now we need to do the C over here. So uh, I'm going to put my tractor right here. Now I'm off a little bit there. Maybe it might be easier for me to move the uh, triangle. Uh, off a little bit there. Ah, it's pretty close there. So again, you know, we got this side here as close as possible to being right on there. So, um, looks okay, so I'm measuring from this side. So I'm using the outside scale here. So you see that would be 20. So between the 20 and 21, so I run the last one down, so let's round this one up. So let's say it's 21 degrees. So it's about 21 degrees. Actually, if you remember, well, let's zoom back out. Let's go to back to my normal size again here. So um, as a check, uh, if you have a plane triangle, that's a triangle on a flat surface here, the, uh, the three angles should add to 180 degrees or pretty close. Uh, they're both supposed to be exactly 180 degrees. So if I bring my calculator over here, uh, so I'm adding up 116 and 42 and 21 here. And so pretty close to 180. I'm off by a degree. So, uh, you know, when you're measuring them uh, by hand, uh, you're not always going to get exactly 180 degrees, but it should be pretty close. 178, 179, 180, 81, something like that, within a degree or two. So, um, and of course, uh, there's some human error there, so that's why it's not always going to end up to exactly 180 when you measure them. But but that's, you. hopefully you get the idea. That's That's how you use a protractor to measure angles, and that's the whole point of this tutorial. Thanks, and have a great day.